Today's passage is Matthew 23, verses 23 to 26. The other day I said from the pulpit that there are no exclamation marks in the Bible. I should have explained that I meant the original Hebrew and Greek texts. The point I was making is that there's more humour there than we often realise. Translations do put in exclamation marks when they see fit, and there are a few in our passage. Some express humour, but perhaps here it's more exasperation that's being expressed by the exclamation marks. The woes spoken to the Pharisees through the whole of this chapter are the opposites, if you like, of the Beatitudes or blessings spoken to his disciples. Woe is a pretty serious word, a condemnatory word, so it's not funny. But Jesus does point up the ridiculous nature of some of the Pharisees' activities. You strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. How crazy is that? You tithe the very herbs on your windowsill, giving a tenth to God. Not just the crops in your fields, but justice and mercy seem to escape your attention. The modern phrase, uh, which is like this, is you can't see the wood for the trees. You're focused on the details and you're missing the bigger picture and getting it all out of perspective. I thought we might pay a visit today to George and the dragon and see what they make of this problem. One day, the dragon found St George working hard. Morning, George. What are you up to? You look busy. Yes, I realise that my armour is getting really rusty and tarnished. Remember when I took it off and left it in the grass? Well, that was weeks ago. And now just look at it. It needs a jolly good clean. Oh, right, I see. I thought, actually, that you decided against the armour? thing is, Dragon, that I am supposed to be a knight in shining armour, and I'm quite proud of that. And what kind of knight lets their armour go rusty? There's my sword and my spear as well, so blunt you couldn't go through paper with them, let alone dragon hide. They need sharpening up. Hmm. Well, how about a break? It's a nice sunny day. Wouldn't you care for a walk in the forest? Far too busy, dragon. You go. But I've got much more important matters to attend to. Are you sure, George? I've got a funny feeling they might be much less important matters. What are you talking about? How could anything be more important than polishing my armour? Well, let's think. What is a knight supposed to do, in general terms, I mean? fight, of course. That's why I've got all this stuff. And what are you supposed to fight against? I seem to recall that we agreed before you don't need to kill dragons. Not dragons like me, anyway. I'm supposed to fight against evil. It's a really big, hard job. Oh yes, I totally agree, it is. And where is this evil? Where are you going to stick your sword? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find some. Evil's all around us, after all. Exactly, George. I agree. Evil is all around us. But waving your sword in the air isn't going to achieve anything much, apart from strengthening your sword arm, I suppose. You're being really negative, dragon. What do you suggest I do, then? I just think there are better ways of fighting evil. Such as? Well, being a good person, being kind to people, helping people out, not hitting back if they hurt you, loving your neighbour. Oh, I think I've heard that one before somewhere. Ha ha, dragon. We all know you've practically swallowed the Bible and know it all off by heart. Sorry, but after all, it is what Jesus did. You know, he didn't have swords and things, but he fought against evil all right. Maybe that's the way he wants you to fight against evil. Hmm, 
I just really like that bit about the armour of God and fighting and all that. Yeah, sure. But it's only one short part, one short passage. It's not the whole of scripture. Mostly Jesus talked about love and compassion and, and kindness and mercy. And he went around treating people like that. Maybe that's what he wants us to do. OK, fair enough. Where do we start? Well, we could start by you taking a break and coming for a walk with me. I'd like your company. And then in the forest, we will see what adventure we meet.